Melanin. Dominant in genes, cast the whitest teeth, worth more than any currency, even acts as an all-natural sunscreen, sunbathing. In dreams. Dreams of less inferior liberties, vocalizing, igniting bravery, not afraid to speak, girl, you better preach, expanding enlightenment to all extremes, hands in the air, down on my knees, screaming. How you gonna put that through slavery? Supremacy? I'm better than you, ain't nobody better than me mentality. You know, the attitude that's spread and fueled by disease called greed, in which they're entitled to an easy life with material things guaranteed. It's a biological part of their anatomy. It's involuntary. A bottomless hunger at the expense of billions of POC. Girl, you a half-breed. Oh, please, you such a tease. Spitting out these words dangling by the straight-headed strands of your finely silk strings. You a half-privileged luxury. On the contrary, by the pigment of the skin that I shed every four weeks, the shape of my nose, angle of my chin and cheeks, I will always be a knockoff brand for cheap, for color is the first damn thing white people see yet hated by the black community, like I'm a light-skinned commodity, discarded as the other by my white family because their ignorance supersedes human decency. Half-white does not look like an easy life. I didn't get by with the brown in my eyes. I had to hide to survive, wore my white as a disguise. Surrounded by discrimination, I didn't recognize I was blind. I was unknowingly victimized. My siblings and I cried. We wanted to die. We hated our skin. We didn't know why. Brainwashed by my mother's family and by the shame of my father's black humility. Grew up in a racist community, but to the black clan, my skin's still phony. Privilege can be a choice, to be or not to be ignorant. Call it white privilege, a niggaless ignorance. How can I endorse what my ancestors were forced to be when from nothing? They fought hard to break free centuries and centuries of overboiling animosity, yet they chose protest for equality and the future of our country. Damn, that shit's inspiring. Why not me? Escaped from home at 17, empowered by all these beautiful black queens, gaining and parading my higher self-esteem type and hashtag melanin poppin on my Instagram screen. Through the study of yoga, I found my worth, my soul uplifted in growth and rebirth, thought, yes, I'm half black. And melanin is a gift to this earth, but when do I get to vocalize my pride and rightfully take ownership? Do I have permission to participate in the embrace of my cultures? Straight hair and lighter skin are privileges that I'm grateful for, but mixed kids still face hate on account of how they were born, some far less, some much more. A little bit of pain makes you stronger, but receiving it from all sides, all races, all cultures, what's that game? Tug of war? Pull harder for who doesn't want the mixed kid more aggressive reminders that we don't belong? Racial shame is our alma mater. <laughs>